Okay, good. Do you see the uh, PowerPoint? Good. First of all, thank you for you all to, uh, for joining uh, us today for this lesson. My name is Arashd Yusuf. Uh, I study at uh, Purdue University. I do PhD in technology. And actually my research uh, interest, uh, I do like STEM education. Uh, and today we are going to talk about exploiting engineering and technology to package programs. Uh, in other words, using engineering and technology to package programs. Uh, actually, I would like to have a discussion with you. Uh, so before we start, I would like to ask you, uh, ask you some questions, uh, but before I would like to introduce you the agenda and the, the objective for this lesson, the agenda we will do so introduction, we will talk about meat contamination and packaging burgers. Uh, after that, we will do uh, an activity which is packaging burgers. After that, we will reflect and conclude. These are the objectives for today. Uh, you will be able uh, to explain what meat contamination is and what are some ways meat can be contaminated. You will identify also the ways that technology and engineering contribute to safely package burgers. You will be able to describe how food packaging may lead to contamination. And also uh, you will try to apply base, uh, basic principle of mathematics and burgers package, in burger, uh, burgers packaging. Uh, and before uh, we will have like chat box, uh, box discussion, I know you like discussion, you like to chat because I saw some of you like chatting before we start. And this actually what I like. I like to have this kind of discussion with you. So what was your favorite meal when you were six years old? Use the chat box to, to reply to this question. Mac and cheese. Awesome. Probably noodles. I like noodles also. Butter, chicken, and shabati. Yeah, that's awesome. What else? What was your favorite meal when you were six years old? What did you like before? Steak. Good. You see this picture, maybe you remember a few. Look at it. Pizza, awesome, awesome. You are awesome, guys. Uh, I had spaghetti tonight. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, good. Actually, uh, I want to ask you who picked meat. I see some of you picked meat. Some of you said steak. Some of you said cheese and burger. Uh, and I would like to ask you who picked meat as favorite food? Just say me or write anything. I did, okay. Suara uh, uh, picked meat as favorite food. Who else? I see another one picked meat, another thing. Yeah, actually for me, uh, my favorite food when I was six years old is meat, and uh, especially burgers. And also, uh, there is a reason why I uh, ask you about this question, because our, uh, I will tell you a story about meat, <laughs> especially about, about burgers. Uh, and actually, it's kind of sad story happened to me in 2015. I'll tell you, I'll give you a brief explanation of my story. In 2015, I opened a restaurant. Actually, this was my dream. 
I always uh, thinking about how to open restaurant. How can I be like a restaurant owner? So I opened a restaurant. You see this, uh, the first picture, the beautiful looking from outside. The second picture, the beautiful chair and the beautiful burger and uh, French fries, the beautiful logo. This, uh, I, I, I'm like, uh, finally I accomplished my dream. But unfortunately, what happened is I closed my restaurant in 2017. Look at the pictures, uh, the other pictures. The first picture, the people who are in the first picture, they are taking everything out. The new owner wants to open his own restaurant. The second picture, where is the beautiful tables? The, where is the beautiful burger? Where is the beautiful uh, and the delicious French fries? Everything. Okay. Actually, I had some problems with uh, my restaurant. And one of the problem is contamination. This was one of the problem of why I closed my uh, list. But before I would like to ask you, what is contamination? Also in the chat box, I would like you, if you have any idea, have you ever heard of this word contamination? You run out. Yeah, yeah, I actually, yeah, because uh, I opened the restaurant uh, uh, five years ago and I am now, okay, I run out of this business, but I will be coming back. After I graduated from Purdue, yeah, I'll be coming back. Uh, I'll be coming back. Okay, now what is uh, contamination? Food safety. Okay, do you have any other answer? Anyone wants to uh, share his thought about contamination? Okay, awesome. It's unsafe way of keeping food. Also, uh, if you have any other thought, contamination is, I don't know, uh, is that is right? Yeah, oh, who is this? Yeah, 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 it's right. It's unsafe, yeah. It's kind of contamination. If you save, if you uh, store uh, burgers or food in an uh, unsafe way, yeah, yeah, you are right. Something that is not supposed to be in it. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Basic pollution or contaminate, yeah, that's very good, yeah. Like bacteria, yeah, that's very good, yeah. You are awesome, guys. You have like good knowledge about food and our my topic for today, and that's awesome. Okay, so contamination is being unclean, polluted, or poisoned. And actually, uh, if we talk about contamination, there is water contamination. The water can be contaminated, uh, and also the environment can be contaminated. And there is food contamination. And this is our topic for today and uh, what we are going to focus on. Uh, uh, as you see in the right picture, this is contaminated burger. And this is exactly what I have in my restaurant. I, uh, if you see these uh, brown spots, this is the contamination. This is the problem because I used to throw many burgers away and I don't know what's going on. And after that, after I came uh, at Vidu and I did some research and I learned how to do research about things, about the problems, I found that this is the problem happened to my restaurant before. And actually, uh, in, the, uh, in today's class, I'm looking for your help. I want you to help me because I trust you. Are you ready to help me? I hope you said yes. Who said yes? Are you ready to help me with my problem? 
And also this problem, you will help many people. You will have restaurant owners. Also, you will help people in their house. Uh, will you help you to solve this? Yeah, will you help me to solve this problem? And also, I will guide you to solve this problem. I will help. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think you are all ready to help me, and I really appreciate it. Uh, and I really, uh, maybe it's possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. I think, yeah. Yes. Okay, now, <clears throat> before we start, uh, and uh, to start uh, solving this problem, I will explain you what contamination, I will give you something about contamination. And now we will see how does contamination happen. So you will have idea about contamination, and, if you are, uh, and we will do an activity. Uh, and uh, 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 while doing activity, okay, you have good uh, knowledge about contamination. So I will show you this video and we will come back. <laughs> we all know how well meat and vegetables go together in a meal. But before he cooked for his family, Terence had to be careful to keep his lettuce and pork chops separate. Why? because harmful bacteria from the raw meat can cross-contaminate other foods and may make those eating it very Yusuf, sick. Yusuf, we can't see the video. Oh. Yeah, We all know how well meat and vegetables go together in a meal. But before he cooked for his family, Terence had to be careful to keep his lettuce and pork chops separate. Why? Because harmful bacteria from the raw meat can cross-contaminate other foods and may make those eating it very sick. If Terence had forgotten to bring separate bags for his meat and produce at the grocery store, any bacteria from the pork chops could have cross-contaminated the head of lettuce. These bacteria can come from the juices of raw meat or even just the products or product packaging touching when no visible juices are present. Fortunately, Terence kept his raw meat and produce separated. But his food isn't out of danger yet. Cross-contamination can also happen in his refrigerator. But Terence remembered to keep his raw meat and vegetables separate. More cross-contamination avoided. Terence must be very careful when cutting his meat because, though he can't see it, there could be bacteria on this pork. He can spread this bacteria from the meat to his utensils, his vegetables, and his kitchen towel. If he does not wash his hands well after touching the meat, cross-contamination is far more likely. But fortunately for his family, Terence was careful. Terence washes his hands with soap and warm water for 20 seconds after handling the pork. He also washes the cutting board and utensils. He keeps his vegetables separate from his raw meat, and he's careful to keep the cutting board and utensils used for the meat away from his raw vegetables. All Terence has to do now is use a food thermometer to be sure that his meat is safely cooked. The pork's internal temperature is safe at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. All whole cuts of pork, beef, and lamb require a three-minute rest time before they're safe to eat. During these three minutes after meat is removed from the heat source, its temperature remains constant or continues to rise, which destroys any remaining bacteria. Terence was careful not to cross-contaminate his kitchen or food, and by cooking his meat to the proper temperature, he serves his family food that is safe to eat. 
He keeps the pork and lettuce separate. Okay, now we saw this video. <clears throat> also, we saw how meat affects other food. It's not just about meat or just about uh, burger. It's also affect other food and affect the the meat uh, itself. If bacteria, if we have like uh, bacteria on hands or if we have bacteria on meat. So for <clears throat> for today, we are going to find a way how to solve the contamination issue. Okay, now uh, I would like to ask you also in the chat box, what are some ways meat can be contaminated? You saw the video and what do we think? What are the ways that think, uh, think, think out of the box, think, think about other ways, also ways that not included in the, in the video, if you like. What do we think? Sorry, can you say it again? Yeah, what, what are some ways or reasons of contamination? One day of use fish in everybody's food. Can you see the slide? Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, if you dump into a toxic waste uh, facility, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, now uh, these are some ways uh, of uh, contamination that can cause the contamination. Sometimes, yeah, awesome, awesome, good idea, yeah, good answer. These are some uh, some factors or some reasons of uh, contamination: bacteria on hands, bad storage, and poor packaging system. Uh, and now we will focus on two things: bacteria on hands and poor packaging system. And now. We will talk about technology and engineering because our topic for uh, today is uh, uh, more about technology and engineering and how technology and engineering contribute to a safely packaged burger and also about the food engineering. So, do you see any technology here or engineering in these pictures? You see these two pictures. The first picture, the, there are many devices, and the second picture, the guy that uh, uh, controlling a device. Do you see any technology or engineering here? The packaging system. Good. Yeah, the packaging system. What else technology that you see here in this in these two pictures? Okay, here actually uh, the trans yeah the transport uh, transporting system awesome yeah good actually if you see these two pictures there are many 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 technologies and engineering behind this picture if you see here in the first picture th there are computers there are tools there are systems also uh, in this picture the second picture if you see the robot. The, the guy who holding this, uh, this device looks like a calculator, but I think it's a device to control the robot and control the entire system. These are technologies. And some, some of you may ask, where is the engineer here? Actually, the engineers who made this technology, who designed this technology before. And if you think about technology, Technology is not just the advanced technology, the computers or iPhone or iPad. The technology, all tools that you have around you, these are technology. The chair that I'm sitting in right now is technology. The table, the, the board, the pen, the, these are all technologies. 
And now we will try to use these technologies to package gold. And uh, before uh, also we start the activity, I will show you a brief uh, video about packaging burgers, also to have a broad idea about packaging history, so we can start our activity. Okay. So, yeah. This is the checkers. So any tool uh, is, yes. Uh, actually, yeah, any tool is technology. Uh, because if you uh, read about technology literature, uh, if you go back to the history of technology, this is the name of the, uh, the tools that made before by engineers. Maybe uh, if we say the hammer is technology, yes, it's made by engineers, but it's like, uh, it's very beginning, beginning technology. But now we have complex technology, which is computer and iPad, iPhone, etc. This game where grandson stop sharing and then put you know remember uh -huh, okay yeah. thank you stop sharing yeah. this we can see we can see it we can see it you can see it oh, okay okay now you can see it how are you yeah and granddad will bond. Welcome back to the Packaging School Show. I'm your host, Kevin Kegley, creative director at the Packaging School. And finally, the rain has stopped. We're actually back on our soundstage, our driveway in South Carolina. Since the beginning of recorded history, humankind has always had stuff. We had some form of clothing, food, beverages, the essentials. And we were always trying to find ways to keep those things longer and to transport them easier. So we looked around and we got inventive. Ancient packaging was made from woven grass, leaves, bark, animal skins, hollowed gourds, we were pretty innovative with what we had available to us thousands of years ago. And packaging has come a long way and has had to adapt to the ever-increasing stress and demands of e-commerce and the supply chain. I sure hope that I didn't have a package in there somewhere. That's, that was crazy town. And because we're the packaging school, we're gonna give you a snippet of packaging history. Here's our very own Nick. We use so many different kinds of packaging in our everyday lives. Have you ever actually stopped to think about where these various substrates came from? How about a little history lesson this week? I was going to talk about the fall of Constantinople, but uh, Kevin thinks that the origins of packaging might be a little bit more relevant. I don't know. Let's start with glass. Glass bottles can be traced back thousands of years to ancient Mesopotamia. The process to develop glass was first discovered when the natural component natron combined with sand in a fire. A few hundred years later in Syria, the process of glass blowing was created and glass became a much more popular method of containing liquids than the previous forms of doing so, such as gourds, animal skins, or pottery. Next in the long history of packaging comes paper. Paper, as being used for food transportation, is credited as being created in China a little more than 2,000 years ago. While the Chinese were initially using treated mulberry bark, the process of extracting cellulose from plant fibers was developed over the next couple centuries. And this process is actually pretty similar to the one we still use today. These examples of paper packaging are considered the oldest forms of flexible packaging known to exist. Cardboard is one of the next major innovations, but we have to jump forward all the way to the 1800s before we start seeing it used commercially. The process of creating corrugated board is also credited to the Chinese a few hundred years prior, but the earliest known example of cardboard being used for packaging can be found in Germany in 1817 for the strategy warboard game, The Game of Besieging. Cardboard became very popular in both Europe and the Americas due to it being both cheap and durable. Lastly, we arrive at plastic, one of the most recent but also most heavily utilized substrates out there. Although the first man-made plastics were created in the mid-1800s, it wasn't until the early 20th century that the origins of modern plastic really took shape. 
Cellophane, the same clear material we know today, was created in 1908, the first fully flexible, waterproof, flexible packaging ever made. As we move on through the century, the first commercial plastic bottle was created in 1946 for the deodorant brand Stopette. The success of this product led to many copycats as well as further innovation with the material. Today, various plastics are among the most commonly used packaging materials thanks to their durability, flexibility, and recyclability. So there you go, a quick history. Okay, <clears throat> now we uh, like uh, have uh, like uh, general idea about packaging history engine. Now it's uh, the start of the fun part, which is the active packaging burger. Uh, actually, I want to package uncooked burger patties and avoid contamination. You will receive fresh and uncooked burger patties, the bladeh. You, you will just imagine that you will receive the bladeh. This is the bladeh, or if you have uh, uh, other uh, side of the bladeh, just take the, the amount that you think is good for, the, uh, for making burgers. Your job is to package burgers without touching the actual patties and the plastic cup as well. You can't touch it, the plastic cup after closing. And the burger should be four inches wide. As you see here, uh, uh, the mathematician got, uh, people said diameter. The diameter should be four inches long. So to start this uh, process, I found this engineering design process is a good way to follow, uh, which has five steps. Uh, the first step is ask. Ask what's the problem and what are the constraints. The second step, imagine. The, the third step is plan. The fourth step is create. The fifth, uh, fifth step is improve. So we will start uh, step by step to, uh, to package the burger. So let's start, but I would like to ask you, do you have any questions before we start? Do you have any question, anything uh, not clear for you, just uh, let me know in the chat box and we will start the activity. Okay. If you don't have any question, should, uh, just uh, say no questions or say anything that uh, and we can start. <laughs> You have no question, guys? Okay, ask. <clears throat> okay, now we will start the activity and I would like you to follow these steps. First, what is the problem? Wait, what? Okay. Okay, go ahead, Union. Union sign, go ahead. What's your question? No, never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, just a quick uh, review to the, uh, we will start the activity and we will follow this, these steps. And then now we will start with the first step, which is ask. If you go back to the uh, uh, to the this picture, uh, we ask, uh, and after that we imagine, plan, create, and improve. Now we will ask, what's the problem? Okay, now, what's the problem? What are, are we going to solve now? Uh, when I talked about my restaurant, what's uh, the problem in my restaurant? It's what for uh, meat contamination. Okay. And now the constraints. 
how can we package food without eating meat? Yeah, yeah, awesome, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing, Yon. Yeah, package, and now don't touch the patty. We are going to uh, now uh, create our design. Don't, don't touch the patty and or plastic paper or plastic wrap. Gloves, awesome idea also, gloves. But the gloves, sometimes I was thinking about it. The gloves, you might uh, touch the uh, the floor or touch the uh, floor of the table. It, it might uh, get some bacteria on it. But we will find another way that we use technology. Uh, technologies. Also, if you, if you have in your house any technologies around you, for example, the spoon is technology, the fork is technology as well, you can use it. Okay, now we will imagine for two minutes. We will do brainstorming. Think about the problem. Think about how to come up with a design. Now, how can I design the plastic wrap? For example, I want to design, I want to like square or uh, I want to cut it this way. I want this to be uh, how long and this how long so I can wrap it without touching it. And choose a design. I will give you two minutes or so. If you finish of uh, brainstorming and thinking, please let me know. Also, if you have any questions, if you want to discuss in the chat box, you might ask each other. You might also look for uh, the design in the internet. You are welcome to do anything that you like. I'd like to see your discussion in the chat box. That's a good idea also to share your part with your uh, peers here in the, in the chat box. That, would, that will be awesome. My chat box doesn't work. It doesn't show the send icon. Uh-huh, sorry for that. You can't see the chat box? You I can also share, yeah, you can talk by now. You can also share your thoughts. Just uh, request uh, the, uh, unmute yourself and uh, talk that's fine i can see the chat box but the problem is it doesn't show the uh mm -mm. i can see the chat the icon but the problem is that when i type something it will show mm, mm, the send sign yeah click enter some people here in the chat box they said Look at the bottom of the screen and just hit enter. Just hit enter. If you want to send anything, just write it down and hit enter. Try it out now. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, just type anything and hit enter. Yeah, now, try sending something. Yeah, send anything. Just uh, send uh, the letter A or anything. Yeah, yeah, good. Now we see you. Hi, Sam. Yeah, hi. Good. I'm happy to see that's working with you. OK, now, because we, uh, I think we don't have uh, enough time, we will go really fast for this uh, activity. And uh, now uh, I, I suppose that you choose a design and I would like you to uh, like plan your design, write it in a piece of paper, draw your design and calculate the task. It's for three to five minutes. I will say like three minutes because we don't have enough time. Uh, so just draw it in a piece of paper. Uh, and uh, if you want to calculate, 
the cast uh, the plastic paper is uh, 0.005 per inch. And uh, the blade is like the burger, uh, and you, you will have pale scissor tape and marker. And also, note that you can use any materials you have in your hand right now in, or in your kitchen. And you, you may share your thoughts now also. I, I will be so happy you share your thoughts here in the chat box or just uh, uh, come and talk. And this is the step number three plan. So you plan how to, uh, how are you going to build your uh, product? I don't have a calculator. Yeah, that's okay. Even if you don't have a calculator, uh, that's fine. Just write the way that you are going to calculate. Don't write the total if you don't have a calculator or use the, the mathematics principle if you know how to calculate without calculator. So I just go, if you don't have anything, just uh, do it because we, I think we don't have enough time. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and gather materials right now, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Dr. Nablish ha has a good idea. Two inches is uh, 0 0.01. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, we, we, we want to uh, build it now. But now we are in the plan, uh, in the state, Number three in the design, uh, in the uh, engineering design process. Now in the step number three, now we have two more steps we are going to, uh, to do. Yeah, the issues you can, uh, the issues you can, if you cut the plastic uh, wrap, calculate the plastic wrap, just the plastic wrap. The other materials, uh, I give it free for you. Don't worry about it. So I, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can use any materials you have, even if it's not a plastic paper. Yeah, yeah, works too. Every, every materials you can use, every materials available now with you is fine to use. Yeah, because as you see in the, in the, in the video that they use different material to package different things. Okay, now uh, we will uh, do the actual activity and now start building your design. Yeah, just start uh, building your design and calculate the cost and uh, by using ruler, how, how many inches and uh, start building your design, start driving your building. Yeah, and also if you have any questions, you are welcome to ask. I'm not ready. Yeah, uh, I will make it easier for you uh, because uh, we run out of the, the time. Yeah. Uh, stop sharing. Yeah, if you see, this is what I have done. You see here, is it, where is the camera? Uh -huh, okay, this is what I have done, actually. You see this? This is what I have done before. I rub it by using plastic paper. Then I press it by using a technology. I would like you to choose, you may choose anything that you like press it, the burger. Also, but, uh, the most important part, don't touch the burger itself. After closing it, you can't touch. That's fine. This is uh, the, my final project. You can do like, like this final project by following the steps that I showed you. How much does that cost for yours? Uh, for me, actually, it's uh, I have the cost later because I'll explain the cost, yeah. 
It's about uh, 25 seconds. Yeah. You got, you got chat here. Yeah. Yeah, the burger patty with the plate. Yeah, uh, I said just, this is the burger patty. You see, I consider it because we just want to practice. Yeah, you can do, you can think about it. How can you, you can touch the Play-Doh? Uh, I want to give you uh, tips. Uh, I don't know, but I would like you to think about it because I trust you, you are, you are a good critical thinker. So I would like to encourage you to think, how can I not touch the fatty? Use other materials, use other technologies. Use, for example, you can use, Yeah, the, here, if, if we see here. Yeah, here they can use any available materials around them. So if they can, for example, a spoon to place the burger in the plastic paper or a plate to press it. Yeah, these are the materials. Also, feel free to use any materials that you like. And if you want to test it, uh, make sure that uh, uh, look around the burger, the final project. If anyone can touch the burger patty or not, and try to fold it twice to test its strength or uh, just do some testing to like uh, make sure it's strong and it will not break. Yeah, actually, yeah, when I done, yeah, I, uh, uh, I rub it. Yeah, I rub it with, uh, also I choose uh, the, I will show you my final design uh, later. I rub it chosen, uh, using a tool. And then if I close, uh, when I close it, okay, I can bring just tape and uh, tape it. That's fine. Okay, bye. Thank you, bye. Thank you. Yeah, 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 they can use, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We have 15 minutes left, 15 minutes left. Okay, is anyone uh, done with the, okay, awesome, that's awesome. Okay, us, good. Who would like to share his design? If you want to share, just go ahead and share your design.
Yeah, sure. I will show you my example. Yeah, in the next slides. But I would like to show you uh, to see you the design. Yeah, I'll show you exactly. Sure. Can anyone share? Can they send pictures in the chat box? Okay, I'll show you my design anyway. And if you can, uh, at the end, you can share your design. Okay. Now, uh, the fifth step, we would like to ask you to improve what went wrong with your design and why this went wrong. Uh, uh, okay, now you practice this, uh, this design process. What went wrong with your design uh, and with your process? What's the problem that you had? Can you tell us to finish? Or even if you didn't finish, if you are trying to try, what went wrong with it? with this process and how to fix it also. I accidentally used my hand. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's awesome. How to fix this issue? You use your hand, how to fix it? What do you think? You may use technology. What, what technology you use maybe to fix this problem? I may say maybe if I touch it by my hand, I can repeat it again because in this design process, uh, we can repeat the process again to enhance the entire steps, step by step. Okay, and now, uh, 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 son, uh, yeah, if you if you accidentally use your hand, as I said, you can like repeat it again and again, because these steps can be repeated again and again. So we can improve because it, uh, not anyone can get it right in the first step. It's hard to get it right in the first time that you practice. So <clears throat> now we will, and as Dr. Noblish said, use a tool also. And this is my design uh, that uh, I have done before. This is my, uh, uh, what I draw before I start building my design. Uh, in the first one, I wanted to calculate the cost. I said, okay, five inch and 10 inch long. Uh, so uh, this is the plastic uh, wrap or plastic paper. The second one, this is the blader. I said, okay, this is uh, the blader or the burger, the actual uncooked burger. I lose a spoon and I will not touch it and place it in the plastic paper. In the third one, I will press it by using a plate. And uh, here how I calculated the cost. Uh, uh, it's like I say the given, the given is the price, which is uh, $0.005 per inch. The length is 10 inch and five inches for length. Uh, can you tell me how, can I, how, how I uh, calculated the price? What formula I used? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, what uh, the formula we should use? Actually, I used this formula: area equals length times width. So I uh, the length is ten, uh, the width is five. Ten times five is fifty. So the total, uh, the area by price per inch. This is the total, which is 0.25 uh, dollar. <clears throat> okay, now this is my design. This is what I have done. These are the steps that I followed. If you see here, I didn't touch the the actual burger and the plastic paper. I placed it here. I didn't touch it by my hand. And here I uh, I press it using the plate. Plate is technology. Also, I see it's three and a half inch. And I said, okay, I have to press uh, more to, uh, to reach the four inch. 
So now this is the final design as I showed you. And now uh, I would like to conclude and refresh your memory a little bit. So what are the three ways that we have learned the cows meet contamination? You remember the three ways that uh, we said before about contamination? That cows is contamination. Yeah, that's fine if you accidentally uh, use your hand. In the future, you will do the process again, again, and you will find a solution for this process. You may use uh, another technology. Okay, now what were the, the three ways or the three reasons of meat contamination? These are the, yeah, and bad storage, of, yeah. And drone cooking, yeah, awesome, yeah. Drone cooking is, we didn't mention it today because we didn't want to focus on, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm hungry now also. Okay, now, uh, I would like you to arrange these steps we just have done and we just followed now. We would like to arrange these steps. Uh, I just make them randomly, and uh, we, we now we want to uh, arrange it. What is the step number one? <laughs> a box to grace. Yeah, awesome, awesome, A sound. Yeah, a box is awesome, very good. That's very good, you use box. You don't have to use specific tools because we have many tools. You, you, you should be creative about choosing things. I use tongue. Okay. Oh, paper. Paper. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Kidron, thank you. I'm the professor. <laughs> okay. Okay, now what's the step number one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyone knows what that? Yeah, excellent, Molly. Yeah, it's us. The step number two. What's the step number two? I think uh, Dr. Noblet will give you a credit to answer this. Oh. Step number two is three, two, one. Imagine, imagine the uh, the process. What are you uh, going to do? The step number three. Plan. Yes. Thank you, Tegan. Great. Step number three, uh, four, sorry. We have remaining uh, uh, create and improve. What's step number three? Is it a four? Is it create or improve? We said that the improve is the last step, right? So what's the step number four? Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Th thank you, Assam. Yeah, that's fine. You use markers, but you may uh, clo uh, close the markers if you use it. Yeah, thank you, Swara. Yeah, create. Step number four, create. And step number uh, five, the last one is improve. And now we we finished the, this lesson and thank you very much for joining me and for helping me. I know it's, it was difficult because of uh, it's virtual and you, you are awesome guys. 
uh, and I appreciate your participation, even with these difficulties with the connection. Some people have problem with the chat, and this unfortunate to have. And uh, some uh, some of you may have any problem with connections. And really, I really appreciate your participation. And thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please ask. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Swara. Thank you for joining and bye. Have a good night. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you.